Hi guys, my name is Jack and we recently developed a new Android tablet with an integrated Arduino board. So I would like to share with you and talk about our unique Android app, Arduino Bootloader. But before we start, I would like to say if you have no idea what is Arduino, I suggest you Google it or watch videos on YouTube. I believe there's a lot about that. Uh, firstly, I would like to talk about why we use Arduino. First, um, with Arduino board, you can upload your program from the computer to the Arduino board directly by using the USB. Um, that's really convenient, so we did a similar thing. Uh, with our app, you can upload the program from the tablet to the Arduino board. Let me give you a simple example. Um, you have thousands of tablets and each of them have a normal MCU board that controls the sensors, switches or other components. And one day you go like, hey, I want to change the controlling program of the MCU board. Then that comes the program. Um, firstly, you got to open every single case of the tablet. And you also need some bootloading kits or tools to do that. But with our product, you don't need to open the case of the tablet to do the uploading. You can upload the program from the tablet. Then the other reason is that Arduino is very easy to be used by the programmer. Arduino has a lot of third-party libraries that is free to use, so you can finish your program very fast and easily. Then let me show you some applications of our product. Before we start, let me talk about the difference between our board and the original Arduino board. This one is the original official Arduino Nano. This one is the Arduino Nano Mini, and the only difference is that the Arduino Nano has a USB port, and the Arduino Nano Mini doesn't. And this is our Arduino board, that um, basically what we did is we cut off some pins. You can see there's uh, too many pins on the original board that you are not going to use all of them anyway. So we cut out some of them and um, there's 10 pins left. These two, these two are the power pins. Okay, so this one is our product. And uh, this is the surface, no button design. There's a camera, left top hand side and on the back, here, this part is our um, Arduino board. We put the entire board inside of case. All right, this one is a laser obstacle detecting sensor. Could be used on assembly line counting. And um, let me show you how that works. Very easy, plug in, and uh, the sensor works. Okay, um, then it's the NFC module, this one. You can find it really easy on everywhere, basically. It's very common stuff. And what we did for NFC special is that we basically put these two, the Arduino board and the NFC module inside the case. So this one, this tablet become the really great NFC card reader. And as here is the module and here inside is the Arduino board. Okay, so let me show you how the how the card reader works. So you can see here uh, this one is the uploader and here this is uh, our card reader. And this is the um, NFC card so let's say, let's try here, um, sector one, block two, let's um, read ID. So, okay, read ID. All right, see, here's the ID. And let's try read data and using the default key, say. Okay, great. And here's the data, and let's write something. 
All right, just write them to all F. And see. It goes right to sex and read it again. See, the data for sector 1 block 2 has been changed. That's what we can do with the um, NFC module. Okay, so now it's time to upload the program from the PC to the tablet. But before we do that, there's some work to do. Um, you can see here is your code, and um, and uh, you need to click sketch, and then export to binary. Wow! And then you will find here is the folder that saves your Arduino program and you will find two hex file choose the one without bootloader and you may want to rename it rename the file make it a bit shorter and then copy that this is a um, transcoding tools that Trans transfer a code from hex to binary. So put it here, being released, and paste, and then open the command line, the CMD, and go desktop. There's a place I save this tool and. Uh, Go find the find this tool. So that be um bing release Oops. release and then go hex to bing space and your file name. Okay, then you will have a binary file. Then we got to copy it to the tablet. Then let's upload the program. So firstly we got to make sure the file is actually in the tablet. So here you can see it's the temperature. And the, the yes, the uploader. You just type in T E M P and uh, let's load and here's the uh, the size of the program and click upload well it's still uploading Need to be a uh, bit patient here. Okay, it's done. After we upload the program, let's connect the sensor. This is the temperature sensor. Okay, and uh, let's open the app. This is basically a very simple app that will display the temperature and the humidity. So it's 28 degree right now. But one day you realize that your farm needs an auto watering system. Say if the temperature is higher than 30 degree, the auto watering system will be activated. Then you need to change the program of the Arduino board and plug in another switch, right? So let me show you how we do this. Right here is the program we have seen before and uh, what we are going to do is uh, make a little bit change on the program so when the temperature is higher than 30 degree we will activate a uh, stepper so in the real life you may want to change it to a um, switch of uh, air conditioner or uh, auto watering system or uh, maybe oxygen generator so that will be more useful. 
So right here is just show you how our system work. So let's write some code here. First, so let's write some code right here. First, we got include the library. Uh, library is the um, stepper. Stepper and uh, make a constant. And uh, step nice. and it care the pin. I'm gonna use it's the pin five to eight and uh, make a if statement here if if the temperature sensor read temperature that's higher than thirty degree we will do Set stepper a speed thirty. Yep, and uh, step. All right, and then all you need to do is like what we have done before export to binary and that will be all good um let's assume this is a switch of your air conditioner and here's the temperature sensor so right here when the temperature is low higher than 30 degrees the switch should be turned on. Let's see if that's how that work. Let's heat it up. Come on. Hey. All right. See. It's working. All right. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, sum up. If you don't like it, I'm sorry for wasting your time. If you have any questions, leave it on the comment. I will check that every day. And uh, for business contact, find my video below. Thank you for watching again. Have a nice day, guys.